timeline is our solution to, you know, to help it, to make it easier to drive scenes and to do cinematic storytelling from Unity. Now, just as with the light mapper, very early on in the timeline development, we've, we got a few teams into the development process very early to make sure that we're on the right track. And actually, one of those teams was the team that made the Atom demo. So the Atom demo was built on top of an early version of Timeline. Now, when we showed this early build of Timeline around, a lot of the time we got feedback saying like, hey, have you guys ever thought about using Timeline or any of Unity's other features to do something other than games? You know, to maybe make non-interactive content, maybe for cartoons or TV or even movies. Now, as it turns out, if there's one company here in LA that knows a thing or two about the TV and the movie industry, it's a company called Otoy. Otoy has a renderer that's called Octane that's used in the TV and movie industry a lot. And for this next demo, we're going to take a look how Otoy uses Timeline to drive some of their content. And to do that, I'd like to invite on stage Jules Orbach from Otoy. Oh, thank you. Hey, Jules. Thank you, Lucas. Do this. It is a tremendous pleasure to be here today at Unite and to show the amazing stuff we've been doing with Unity. Um, I'd like to start, though, by talking a little bit about what Otoy does. Um, we are really well known in the visual effects industry. We won an Academy Award uh, for our work on Benjamin Button and Avatar. And uh, our software, Octane Render, is used all across film and TV. And I want to show a recent example, one of my favorite, the opening to Westworld. Let's roll that clip. Now, that gorgeous clip was done on a, uh, in Cinema 4D with Octane on just a few GPUs. And uh, Octane is really fundamental to transforming workflows and getting cinematic quality uh, to happen in real time uh, for artists. I want to show another clip, an original piece of content uh, created by a friend and close collaborator, Big Lazy Robot. This is Keloid. Let's roll that clip. Gorgeous, right? And when people see Keloid, they wonder, you know, what parts were filmed, what parts were CG. All of it is rendered. All of it is CG. And wouldn't it be amazing if something like this could be rendered in Unity? Yeah, it would Back be really cool if I'd like have that scene open here, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's show them. Let's show them Keloid in the Unity Editor live. So here's that shot. Isn't that gorgeous? There it is in the Unity Editor. Octane fully integrated in Unity. Timeline fully integrated with Octane. And look, you added, you added Adam in there. Um, what we're showing here is more than just Octane Render in Unity. It's basically transforming the entire way that Timeline works by allowing you to import anything. You can drop in uh, scenes from Max or Maya or Unity. You can also pull in um, any cinematic format, such as OpenVDB volumes. Now those can be primitives inside of Unity. Let's add, there we go, a fire volume. And uh, even simple things from the Unity Asset Store, uh, like this model, can be dropped in uh, to Timeline and be rendered with cinematic fidelity. And it just looks gorgeous because Octane's a beautiful renderer. And you have this built in. This is all just running on a local machine. It's absolutely amazing to think about the kind of rendering power that we're going to be able to give to people through this collaboration. So I'm really excited to announce how we're going to be giving this to the world. Uh, next year, Octane Render and Orbex will be built in to Unity, all editions for free. It'll be shipping to 6.5 million artists. And we think that the future of cinematic rendering is going to be you know, fundamentally transformed by this collaboration. Uh, and we really think that the future is very bright. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about what that also means for media that's generated with, uh, with Octane and Unity. Uh, when you generate these VR renders, uh, these cinematic scenes, they can be exported into Orbex media format. Um, those, uh, those renders can actually be published to the cloud, and they can be played back at absolutely 
incredible fidelity, 18K on the Gear VR. Here are some samples of uh, Adam in the keloid scene. And I want to show a video of this running live in Orbex Media Player, which showcases the scene we just had loaded in the Unity Editor, um, playing back as a VR film. So there's keloid running at 18K on the Gear VR. And in fact, if you go to the Unity booth, you'll be able to experience this on the Gear VR. And we're publishing these scenes uh, live, right at, the, uh, right at the end of this keynote. And you'll be able to experience them in a number of different places uh, in VR. Isn't that amazing? Uh, the last part that we're showing here is uh, light field render. So you have, with position tracking, you'll be able to move your head through these scenes uh, as they're playing back. And uh, this content will, will be supported uh, in Oculus Social, in the Samsung Internet Browser, and Oculus 360 Photos. Wow. Thanks, Jules. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. Really, like, really, really cool. I'll, let me summarize that a little bit, because the first time I heard it, it took me a while to, it took me a while to get it. So the Octane render that you just saw that rendered that movie that I wondered if it was a movie or computer generated. And the next, you know, the next thing I saw was having that scene open in the Unity editor and driving it with a timeline. And even, you know, I even like that, that frog model or whatever it was that I just got from the SS store, that it's not like that was not a sexy model. It's just, you know, it's just a thing with the texture map. You throw it in and it, you know, it, it completely fits into the scene with the fire and the, and the, and the robot dude and Adam. It just, it blows my mind. And what blows my mind even more is that next year we'll make this render available in Unity. So, and that means Unity Personal Plus and Pro. So all Unity users that want to use Unity to create non-interactive content can use the Octane render. And the visuals of this quality are now in reach for all artists that want to use Unity. I'm incredibly, <laughs> incredibly, incredibly happy about that.